Wetlands by themselves are incredibly important. It's about sediment control. It's about protecting, if you start, you know, mountain to the sea. Wetlands are an important part of the process from, from rainwater going down to, to the ocean. And we're in Tasman Bay, where we live here, we've got way too much sediment in our ocean. Uh, they slow the water down. They have huge, um, they have really big benefits for uh, water health and biodiversity as well as I think they're going to be really crucial for adapting to climate change in our region. The, the wetland and how it filters the water and retains the water and cleanses the water, um, it just made the whole thing have additional meaning and purpose for us. So having an example like this wetland to be able to come along and visit um, and talk to the landowners, it really does help visualise, help, help us visualise what it could look like. We've been working with the Tasman District Council, they developed a global consent to enable um, us to put in wetlands and that is the only global consent a council holds um, which is an awesome feat and what happens with that is if a landowner wants to put in a big constructed wetland then they can approach the council and the council will provide their own consent, it comes at no cost and they'll provide a person to supervise and come up with the plan. The number of neighbours that have said to us that or oh, we saw what you were doing we saw you, what you were achieving, we're going to have a go now. And virtually every section around us has now got areas of native planting. Also, we're very fortunate that where our land drains out, it goes through a culvert under the road to a, a neighbour who was also in, was inspired by our work and has planted up the continuation of the stream. And that then takes it all the way into a rather large QE2 covenanted wetland. The importance of Westpac being involved or, or any organisation giving money is to encourage um, wetlands to be produced and, and, and built. It's not a complicated process to put wetlands in. They don't even have to have dams. They can just be simply a fenced off area of naturally wet, wet area and planted. And we were um, took the opportunity to apply for the Westpac funding, which is $10,000 for a catchment group. And what we want to do with that is we want to take that money, take it to the community, and see if we can build little wetlands um, that don't cost a lot of money, don't need a consent, they're offline, um, that means they're not fully engaged in the stream, they're wet, boggy areas, they can have some overflow from the area and we've developed a whole online uh, workshop where people can read that to see um, whether they can find places on their property. I think the funding is really going to help supercharge uh, putting more wetlands in. So we've done lots of plantings and streams and I think this is the next step. And it's creating the, the, the hopefully the resilience mentally that many farmers will need going forward. You'll get a great level of personal satisfaction by seeing a fully developed wetland like this. Building these little wetlands all around the place is um, an excellent way to do it and we're really looking forward to the partnership with Westpac um, to see how far we can do this and how many wetlands we can build with our local Moteri community.